station. This is Houston. Are you ready for the event? Hey guys, it's Bling Bling. How are you? Thanks for coming back to my channel. Sorry it's been a while since I've made a video. I've certainly been looking at a lot of footage. Booster officer confirms staging a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. Atlanta steering into the center lane of Highway 129 en route to the International Space Station. All NASA is is propaganda to brainwash children into believing in something that's not real. There's Leland, Randy, and of course, Commander Charlie Hobart. Deanna, and Scotty, and Timmy, and Alan, and Terry, and Indra, and a special day for Colin, and Tammy, and Carrie, and Beverly, and Christy, and Susie, and Jonathan, and Nancy, and Jason. Do you really think that a serious-minded astronaut would participate in something so demeaning to himself or herself? To stand there wearing that mask, goofing around, and we've all watched enough videos to see all of the mockery. It's just a big joke. There's nothing serious about this place. All they do is have one event after the next. Their time is supposed to be blocked into five minute increments. Yet somehow they have time for all of these events and all of the side projects. Like one astronaut right now is taking photos of every racetrack in the world with his 1700 millimeter lens on a spacecraft that's traveling 17,500 miles an hour. Do you know that works out too? five miles a second using a manual zoom manual focus do you actually think to yourself that this is possible five miles a second guys five miles per second station this is houston are you ready for the event Houston, this is Station. We are ready for the event. Andrew? Um, hello, my name is Andrew Kendall, and this question is for Chris Hadfield. What do you consider the most vital component in an astronaut's skill set aboard the ISS? The most vital component in an astronaut's skill set? Uh, for me, I think it's... Oh, let me answer this strong abdominal muscles and the reason I say this is it takes strong abdominal muscles to hold yourself straight with your legs dangling on the wire harness and Chris Hadfield apparently has a very weak core so he is often bending his legs to relieve himself to take the stress off of his ab muscles Chris takes a break and wipes the sweat from under his nose. His abs are tired. He can't keep his legs down because he doesn't have a strong core. So he pretends to just hold his knees up. But how is it that he's so static while he's holding his knees up? Okay, station, this is Houston. Are you guys ready for the event? Okay, station, this is Houston. Are you guys ready for the event? Station's ready for the event. Putnam Museum of History and Natural Science. This is Putnam Mission Control, Houston. Houston. Please call station for a voice check. Houston. Station, this is Kim Finley, here with students at the Putnam Museum. How do you hear me? Hey, Kim and Putnam, we hear you loud and clear aboard the International Space Station. Welcome aboard today. Space. That was for you. Well, that's a great... What made you to 
lives and work on the, I mean, yeah, on the island. Okay, guys, there's Chris Cassidy. Who is this in this reflection? Now, we've got Chris Cassidy, so it's not him. All right, you see him right there. And these are the guys on the station. This is Expedition 3536. So we've got two mustaches that knocks them out. and knocks out Chris Cassidy is top left corner. So it just leaves us with the white shirt and the black shirt and the red shirt. But that guy looks a lot younger than those other three dudes. I don't think it's any of those guys. I think that's somebody else. I know the picture is pretty small and that's the cleanest image that I could get on it. And some people will say, oh, it's one of those three guys. Go ahead, say it. I've got plenty of other evidence. So it doesn't matter. Okay, guys. I know you've been waiting for this and here it is. There is a fly on the outside of the space station. Oh, these people. All right. First you'll see it there. And I put arrows so you can see. You can clearly make out that it's a fly. Kind of flies around, gets blurred, and then it's in the shot and it's walking and I think it's on the outside of the glass. Even if it was on the inside of the glass, it couldn't fly around in the space station properly. You know, one thing that we can give NASA is that they're consistently inconsistent because she's swimming. She is swimming in the space station and they have always said that they cannot travel this way in orbit. It's getting late. You need to wake up. People, you need to wake up. And to my haters, I know you're going to say that I sounded angry and that I'm very condescending. It's because I am awake and I'm tired of this mass injustice against the world that these people are lying to us and mocking us, spending $52 million a year of taxpayers' money. So, haters, go ahead, call me whatever you want, but I don't care and I will not stop. Mm-hmm. <laughs>